Manifesting something is easy and simple. You might have heard that you can manifest anything you want. But how can you do it? Well, it is effortless once you understand what I am about to tell you. I'll use the potter and the clay as an example. Have you seen a potter making clay pots? Have you noticed the process? Well, if you look at it, you will see a plate that is rotating, on which a potter puts clay and then molds it with his hand, giving it the desired shape he wants. He can make any shape or form out of the clay. With his imagination, he is giving it a shape and he is applying the desired pressure with his fingers to do so. When you see his art, you will now refer to it as a pot. If I explain it further, it is just a form of clay. It is only clay in a specific shape. Now, you guys might be wondering what this clay has to do with my manifestation. How this clay and potter analogy will help me understand that manifestation is effortless for me. Well, wait for it to unfold, and you will see the magic. If you understood that a pot is nothing more than clay in a specific shape, you would understand all the games of manifestation in life. You are consciousness, like clay, that takes shapes and forms in this external physical reality. Right now, whatever circumstances you are facing are just like the pot. If your specific person is not talking to you, if you are jobless, or if your health is not right, whatever the scenario is, it is just like the pot. By it, I mean that your consciousness has taken on the form of that specific scenario. Clay can be made in any shape, but the pot is just a pot. Now if you identify yourself as pot, you cannot change anything, but if you identify yourself as clay, things can change for you. If you get this understanding, you will realize Neville Goddard's principle that you are nothing but consciousness, imagination, and I am Ness. Whatever you place after I am is how you shape your life conditions. If you say, I am poor, then you are shaping that clay into a form, or, in other words, you are shaping your consciousness in that specific form that will give you all the circumstances in which you will appear poor and manifest all the things that will match your assumption. That is why it is said that our thoughts shape our reality. Now, if you understand this, you will realize that your name, religion, beliefs, and assumptions are all like the pot. The longer you identify with them, it will seem extremely difficult for you to change them as you will look at yourself and your life conditions based on those limitations. Even if you say you are wealthy, you are still limiting yourself to one specific scenario. The whole point of making you understand this is to make you realize that you are not these life conditions, you are not these circumstances, you are something that is forming them. When you identify yourself with it, you will know that you can change anything in your life. As the potter can make any shape out of the clay, you can also manifest anything. The ones who identify themselves as clay, pure consciousness, or, as Neville says, imagination, find that life becomes easy for them. Now, how do I know that you are identifying yourself with the pot or the clay? Well, it is very simple if you are focused, if your attention is always on the outer world, or if you think that nothing can change for you. You spend more time looking at the problems and making assumptions based on the outer circumstances than you are identifying yourself with the pot. Questions such as when will it happen? Did I do it correctly? How should I react to 3D? How many times do I have to do this? Will appear when you identify yourself as the pot or the outer man. When doing so, you fail to realize that you can reuse the clay and make another shape out of it. So, all you have to do is identify yourself as consciousness. When you do so, your imagined acts become true to you, and when you persist in them, things change rapidly for you. All your questions disappear, you won't need any external evidence. It is because you feel it to be true and you experience it as real in the present moment. If you see yourself as someone who is one with God, then you can change yourself at the blink of an eye, you can imagine something once, and it will come to pass. But the majority of people don't see themselves as one with God, they see themselves as just a piece of creation. That's why they believe so much in physical reality, or 3D. For those people, repetition plays a major role in their lives. Repetition of the imagined acts or affirmations helps them shape the clay into something new. I know the clay and the pot have been used so much in this video, but it is just to make you understand how easy it is to manifest when you identify yourself as clay instead of just a pot. You can do it, I know you can. You were not born with a belief, assumptions, religion, race, nationality, or even a name. You have formed this identity over time by accepting some beliefs as true, and that is how your reality has unfolded. During heartbreaks, if you believed that you were not good enough, you attracted such circumstances. If you thought that more beautiful people would come into your life, that happened to you. It is all a game of beliefs. With this, I hope you understand who you are. Subscribe because I post these videos regularly. I will meet you with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting.